Welcome back to the program and we'll continue our interview with Dr. Zayt El Mayer, who is a paleometaphysicist. Um, it's a big word, but for those people who are understanding our subject today, I am sure that uh, they know what we are talking about. I would have liked to talk to you more, but unfortunately our time is short. So I'll try to direct my questions uh, to you in a way where we can at least bring out as well some more understanding to the people. Um, you speak a lot about the high-powered magnetic energy, which you say Malta, the sacred Malta has. What are you referring to? Okay, in my opinion, Malta is or was a microwave power plant. And this power plant were created by the still available prehistoric uh, installation of the Kadrats, the temples, and the wells clusters of, of deep wells and uh, underneath the underneath temples and uh, underneath canal system which is leading water and this part this whole system works together to form this power plant and the collected raining water goes into the rock and will be will be prepared to a good water and so I would say in short the Maltese should take care and pay attention about their water. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. All right, again, there is more on the website uh, about this topic for those of you who would like to know further. With the, inform the prehistory information which you are presenting, um, how is it tying to the present moment today? Okay. Uh, to understand the prehistory, your own history, and I think this this is what I'm doing, the investigation to understand who I am, who I come from, and who I will go. It is a bridge over a gap to manage the future. And when I when I when I get this this knowledge, this understanding, when I can enter the bridge, then my consciousness will grow. And all of a sudden, when I can see clear, all the fear and all the things get rid of, yeah. and I can go in a happy, in a happy way through my present life. Right. And this is the way I like to understand and give the information to the people, because if you know your history, then you can manage Your the future, but first you can manage the present life. The present life, yeah. very good. So um, I'm, I'm skipping a few questions and going to this one because I think it links. So with the, knowing all this information, how do you feel about yourself, about humanity? What are the most important things that the human being should be aware of? with the understanding of the history where our ancestors have been when we found this then we, we will be able to manage our life much better how do you because manage yours for example how do you uh, how, how does it, it how do you express it in your life living without fear living happy I know it's a choice. Yes, there is. I think uh, when I when I understand what the prehistory the prehistory tells us, what they uh, how they did live, and how they were uh, using their techno te technology, technology with where which was uh, in the which was not working against nat nature, mm -hmm. but with it. Mm -hmm. And so they used the nature for their life. And that what we do right now it is we destroy totally our opposite. nature. Mm -hmm. And so we do not know what's come or w what, what will come in the future for us. So okay. it is, okay. I think with the, with the understanding of the prehistory, we open up our consciousness. Mm -hmm. And with this open, we, we handle all our actions much better than okay. without or with the, with the lock 
right now I think our conscience has locked and so we need to open it and the, I think with, with my work, my research, the results of my work with the prehistory, what we have here in Malta, these installations will be like a key to open or to wake up our, our real conscious and then when we see clearly then we can handle all the things much better. Yes, yes. Than we think. It resonates with me and I am sure that people who uh, are sensitive to this subject as well and uh, to what open to what you are saying it will resonate with them as well before we finish I'd like to uh, show our public a model a very small model of the real big model which you made of our temples and how you think because uh, so this is the cover that it serves like an ob uh, like an observatory like you said right yes. um, that was in uh, explain to 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 me okay this one this is a model in a scale at one to 200 mm -hmm. the bigger model is in a scale of one to 50 and it is made up like the original and we found inside uh, the golden mean and when we can when we had the first measurement done at Imnaidra we could we could reconstruct the whole building mm -hmm. and we know then now that is always three three units form one complex so, one, so three units in each complex yes and uh, has this model or the other model been uh, where do you where do people see that model okay right now we can see the model at Ormi mm -hmm. in a uh, spiritual center. Okay. Uh, and we're looking forward to, to bring the model to the public and the other items uh, in a museum like area. Whatever. Very good. So very uh, good. Uh, very we're looking good. So for a place for. <laughs> very good. So we'll await for, for that to happen. Thank you very much for being here. Unfortunately, you we ran out of time. I'd like to give you. A bottle of 35 South Rosé. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a Thank nice you. one. Thank you to my sponsors, Attard & Co., um, who present us with wine from My Wine Selection, Bow Concept of San Juan and Brands International of Birkir Kara for my set, Alexander's with products by Paul Mitchell for doing my hair, Ne Makeup and Mango. And one final uh, question to end this program uh, with you. I would like to ask you, uh, what message do you have to humanity? With the results and of my investigations here in Malta and the old script, I can only tell we have to think about or go back to respect living together with all of us, respect for of the nature and all the other things which has to do on earth, but also respect what is outside, to respect the law of the universe and all together I think when we understand the things we live much better together and we live much better with our nature and so we can look forward in a nice coming future with no fear and a very well new perspective in our life. That's true. Um, because right now, as you are saying that I'm thinking, when you said respect the laws of the universe, you know, sometimes when there is a disaster, we think we're very angry but we have to understand that that is the law of the universe as well. Yes. If we have to respect whatever is the law in order for us to live happier and without fear and more peaceful. Yes, this is what I mean, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if we have the knowledge and the understanding yes. in the f from the past, we know everything has already happened and every or many men or many people could survive and when you know about what is coming then you can get prepared mm -hmm. but without respect the nature and your others your neighbor there will there is nothing so you forget what you have to do yes. and with the respect of this 
you can look forward. Very good. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. It was lovely to meet you. And uh, I look forward to reading more because since before I started to interview you, I've been reading all the material and I still haven't finished. So there is a lot that I myself am discovering through your research. Thank you. Thank you very much and grazie Hafna. Grazie Hafna lila kukol. Insalim lek. Insalim lekum telespetaturi u leilit tayeb. Ciao, ciao.